Yeah, we've just had an update from Nottinghamshire Police on the latest in the investigation. Now, they say they have confirmed that they have managed to obtain an extension to the time for which they can hold this suspect in custody. Another 36 hours was granted to them late yesterday afternoon. Uh, they've also confirmed that this 31-year-old suspect is himself a former university student at uh, the University of Nottingham. Uh, that, the police say, was nothing uh, to do, not connected in any way, they believe, to the attack, which, of course, resulted in the death of two 19-year-old university students as well as a 65-year-old man. But that confirmation, nonetheless, that this man was himself at one point a student at Nottingham University. Also, some further details on the timeline that are also of interest. We know now, according to the police, piecing together the sequence of events, that it was just after 4 a.m. in the morning that the 19-year-old students, uh, Grace O'Malley Kumar and um, Barnaby Weber, were stabbed to death. Uh, in the uh, in that street just uh, not too far up the road, Ilkeston Road, uh, about half a mile or so from this particular location. Then we're told after that incident, police believe that the prime suspect moved to this residential complex a few streets away, a complex for vulnerable homeless people. Uh, it was only after he was prevented from gaining access to this premises that he then moved to Magdala Street, again another few streets away from this homeless residential complex. At that point, he flagged down the van that Ian Coates, the school caretaker, had been driving, stabbed, uh, according to the police, uh, Mr Coates fatally then stole that van headed down here to Milton Street. At that point he ran over a pedestrian here on Milton Street just uh, by the bus stop just uh, next to uh, the position that we're on. Uh, we've been given an update on that pedestrian's condition. Remember yesterday we were told that he was critically injured. Police are now saying that he is in a serious condition in hospital. So some good news there in that he appears uh, to be improving, now uh, listed as being in critical condition. Then we're told, uh, because I think we had previously believed that all three of the pedestrians who were uh, run over by this van, uh, this was in Milton Street, but actually that was in Sherwood Street near to here, uh, where two other pedestrians were struck by this van and more lightly injured. Now, what the uh, police are telling us with regard to that particular incident, uh, they have referred this to the police watchdog, the Independent Office for Police Conduct. Now, the reason they've done that is because a marked police car was following this stolen van at the time it collided with the two pedestrians. Uh, after that, very shortly after that, the police stopped this van, arrested this man, uh, tasered him, brought him to the ground and took him to police custody. But some new lines of information there, of significance, I think, the first, the confirmation that the prime suspect was a former Nottingham University student. Uh, a condition check on the man who was critically injured in the collision here in Milton Street. Now we're told he was seriously injured. A clarification of the timeline, the fact that the prime suspect is believed to have gone to this homeless residential complex after fatally stabbing the two students and before then fatally stabbing Ian Coates and stealing the van and then the further update on that new crime scene in Sherwood Street uh, as well as the pedestrian 
who was knocked down and seriously injured here, the fact that two pedestrians were struck and less seriously injured in Sherwood Street, but that incident now referred to the Independent Office for Police Conduct because a marked police car was following the suspect's van at the time of that collision.